Great. Just finished building my house. Oh. oh no. Whoa. What just happened? Oh no. So, yeah, that's, um, that's not an ordinary TNT explosion. That came from a TNT cannon, which is all, all the way... I'm gonna have to speed this up, aren't I? Over here. This is 2,000 blocks away. And it managed to launch, um, around, like, 20 or 30 pieces of TNT right to my position, 2,000 blocks away. And the way this works is chickens. Basically, if you haven't been catching up with the latest snapshot news, Minecraft has added in a whole bunch of crazy weird items for, like, a, like a wind update. One of the things that they added was a splash potion of wind charging, which will give you an effect called wind charged. It doesn't actually do anything on players, but if we have an entity, for instance a chicken, and we splash it with wind charging, when it dies, it will explode in a little explosion of wind bursts. Now, this is useful because there's no limit to how many entities you can have in an area, or at least if you use vines to stop entity cramming. So, you can just shove a whole bunch of chickens into a small area. All the explosions get stacked at once, and you create a force which is very powerful. And that was only with like, I don't know, like 40 or 30 chickens. Inside the cannon I had 160, and it launches out a whole bunch of TNT pieces at like super fast rates. They go in here, where there are a couple vines to prevent entity cramming, and there's a whole bunch of dispensers which will all dispense two pieces of TNT, which will then load down into here with this little uh, slime block thing pushing them all into the exact same spot so they all travel the same distance. Doesn't actually work because they can move slightly side to side within this area and I added this barrel to try and help it but it doesn't really sometimes so they'll more get spread out into three sort of independent groups of TNT which you'll see when I fire it but anyway let's just load it up with a whole bunch of chickens so you could do this in survival just with seeds, that's why I decided to choose chickens, just because they're like super easy to get loads of, you can even break eggs to get baby chickens. Okay, so there's around about 160 chickens in there, I, I have a little scoreboard just to tell me how many there is, and um, yeah, I think that's good for firing, but because of how fast it goes, if we just fire it, the TNT like is literally invisible, you can't see it moving. Um, so, I'm I'm recording this in a very high frame rate, specifically for this reason. Uh, obviously, the game will take a second to load, and during this time, it's quite laggy. But yeah, that that that, that was it firing right then. You did not see the TNT move at all. And if we just keep on going forward for a bit, we should see just a random explosion in the ground somewhere. I think this is it. So that was only about 160 chickens and it traveled about a thousand blocks. So as you can see there is two very distinct explosions where because they kind of spread out a bit inside the actual cannon. There should be a third one somewhere but I don't really know where that is. The thing is, oh, I might be up there somewhere, it's um not very accurate at all, it's just more for range. Right at the very start, the TNT landing on pretty much the exact block I was at was just a complete coincidence. And um, if we actually want to be able to see the TNT as it fires, I will just load the cannon up again. Okay, so now there's 320 chickens in here. The uh, most I've been able to get uh, firing before the game crashes is around about 400, so yeah, this is probably a good number. And um, we will firstly just freeze the game so nothing is actually going to happen. And then I'm going to fire the cannon. And then I'm just going to slowly like 
tick the forward game one tick at a time and as you can see it just started firing um, also something to mention is I'm not very good at redstone at all this is more of just like a proof of concept that this can actually work and um, yeah this is not actually a good cannon design at all there's probably much better ways of doing this but yeah let's just tick it forward a couple times there's the first load of TNT, and then a couple ticks later a second load should appear. Yeah, there it is. And then this piston extends with these slime blocks, um, and part of a double piston extender, which should push all the TNT into just a, just a one block space here, and then they all fall down to the ground, right next to where the chickens are. So if we just tick it forward a couple times. Okay, and then the potion just got fired, I think. Yeah, there it is. Potion of wind charging. It's all the way up here, but it, it, it does splash the chickens. And it also splashed harming, so now they're all about to die, and the TNT is pretty much in position to where it should be. Okay, and then this little this little roof shoves over top of it just to stop it from flying upwards out of the cannon. I want it to fly straight forwards. And then in a second, these chickens should realize they're dead and explode in a massive wind explosion. Okay, I think that's it. I think the game is kind of frozen right now because there's just because there's 320. Oh. Okay. There it goes, that's the, the wind explosion, those white particles. And then out of the cannon, if we just go forward a bit, here it is. It went all this distance in just one, one game tick. Right, and then if we go another tick, they appear over here. They've gone all that distance. And yeah, as I said before, it kind of goes into three different groups. And that's just because it kind of spreads out a bit in the cannon. I can't keep it completely straight, even though I wanted it to. Okay, right, and this is just going to keep on going forward. Usually it would stop when it reaches the end of render distance, but I have force-loaded all these chunks using command, so I can launch it to its full extent even though this is not technically possible in survival it would only be able to go the maximum render distance which is i think 32 chunks yeah 32 chunks so it would be able to launch 32 chunks but uh so this is the place where the previous one exploded of uh, 160 but this is still moving and this was a test that I did before I started recording. This was about, I think, about 300 exactly. This was the place where I did the, the intro, which was also exactly, uh, I think, about 320. So this should just explode in the exact same place. But we'll, uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep following these two. And these were, these were some more tests that I did, and it looks like it's getting caught up in about the craters of the old ones. But, uh... Yeah, I think this is the end of it, so I'll just unfreeze. Yeah, they just kind of blow up around here, which is where I've done my earlier tests. And this is... The furthest one managed to make it all the way up here, which is 2,300 blocks away from where we started. We started at 0, zero. Furthest test that I've been able to do is out here. This was with... Yeah, with, with, with 400 chickens, I managed to do about 3,000 blocks away from the actual cannon. Any more than that, and my game literally just crashes. Like, I cannot load that many. <laughs> so, theoretically, this could go on for an infinite amount of distance. Like, you could just keep on doing this until, like, your computer just can't handle it. So, um, and in survival, it would only work as far as the render distance goes, so... But yeah, that, 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 that's the that's the Windburst TNT cannon. I've also done some other things with Windbursts, including a, like a player launcher. These things are just like crazy. We've, we've just been given the ability to launch things incredibly far distances. Oh yeah, and also one more thing. 
It works with players as well. <laughs> I hadn't actually tested it with the barrel with the players. That transported me 500 blocks to the side and about a thousand blocks into the air. Alright, bye.